Well, good evening, adventurers. Our next project is making our other door for our bathroom. So you guys remember I made a sunburst door for our closet. Our bright idea is to have the mirror on this door double as our bathroom mirror because we don't have a lot of uh, wall real estate. And to do that, we needed to make a big 10 inch circle. So the mirror is gonna be inserted right there. Yeah. Our other one was only five inches, it was too small, you couldn't really do anything in it. But that means that we have to cut a 10 inch circle and we don't have a hole saw that that's big, that, that big. So we're using our trusty router. You guys remember we became best friends with this thing in our last video, AKA used it for the first time ever in our lives. We bought this handy kit, this small circle cut guide. And basically we've just spent like the last hour trying to figure out how to attach it. Yeah, we're getting there. Look, we got the plate on, we got about 30 more steps to follow and it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be great. All that and more coming up on the Endless Adventure t today. Tonight. Tonight. And tomorrow. And, and to probably an entire and week. For a whole freaking week. <laughs>
until this happened, there were like 30 wires, as you guys can see here, yeah. running just mayhem through there. And now it's just one giant gray tube. <laughs> Well, guess what happened last night? It snowed! <laughs> it's actually still snowing. It's friggin' awesome! It's so pretty, but it's so cold! Yeah. Woo, Lord! This is the first time the RV has actually been in snow, at least since we've owned it. She looks great. It looks like she's in her element. Although I don't dare drive her in the snow, so she's gonna stay parked right here until it all melts. <laughs> yeah, we actually meant to take it over to the covered garage, but then things escalated quickly, and so we were like, eh, it's better to just stay put. <laughs> yeah, but we have the heat going on the inside, so she is nice and toasty inside. It's gonna be so fine. So I think for the rest of this video, we are just going to give you guys a little update on all the little projects that we've been finishing up. Lots of little wins, stuff that we've been putting off for a long, long time that we just haven't had time to do. Mm -hmm. But first thing we have to do is we have to install those cubbies that we built in the previous video. This snow is not gonna stop <laughs> us, you guys. We are GSD. Yeah, Getting well, shit done, in case okay. you don't know what that means. We got these amazing little handles mm -hmm. that match our little cubbies perfectly. We're gonna install those and then install the cubbies. Yeah. Get it all installed today. And then profit. <laughs> and then warm up. Do we do it? <laughs> I guess, I'd love to get out of the cold. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Check it out, you guys. These are our handles that we're gonna be putting on later. They match pretty good, huh? Found them at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they're pretty much perfect. Right now, we actually just have to head over to the garage because we always are forgetting one Thing. It's usually something small and stupid. This time it's <laughs> the screws to put the hinges back on the little cubby lids. But once we get those, we're installing, we're putting these on, we're putting the thing in the RV, and we're washing our hands of this whole project. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, we are officially unscrewed. <laughs> <laughs> We got all of our screws, so now we can screw in our cabinets. I turned on the camera and she said, I have something to say. <laughs> that was her big joke. Unscrewed, because nice it screws. All right, now let's go screw this thing. Yeah, let's get screwed, baby. Whoa. Nothing can ever be just straightforward for us. So you guys saw our awesome little handles and we got this one installed. Works pretty dang good. But the problem is, I guess it's just really low quality hardware and all of these bolts are all stripped out. So we can't tighten this properly on here. It just kind of free spins. And it's mostly just annoying because that means another trip to Menards yeah. to get a bunch of little tiny bolts. <laughs> just another, you know, like 30 minute hour delay. Most of them are like that. They're all stripped down on the inside already. Eric yeah. even got this handy little uh, re-threader. Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's a threading kit. So I tried to th re-thread the nut, um, but it still didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're just gonna burn this and everything in this garage and leave. They're installed and they look so beautiful. Forget you can't really sit up here. <laughs> Do I look comfortable? So when we went to Hobby Lobby, which is where we got these lovely handles from, we only had four in stock. The other two should be arriving today or tomorrow. So we just have lovely holes where they'll, where they'll be going. And we still have to go get our freaking nuts. <laughs> Look how sharp it is up here. There's finally not just like raw nasty plywood down there. And okay, so they open, which is great. I guess we'll have to see if we end up just bashing these in the night with our yeah. hands or feet. We figure we're taking a risk with these, but they're so low profile and you really just usually stay on the bed. So yeah. we shouldn't be kicking these or anything. We're we'll not see. super tall or anything. So we stay pretty much on this mattress, but who knows, might bite us in the butt, but they sure do look good. And you might notice there's currently a big gaping hole back here. We do have little end pieces that we're just gonna glue on, but uh, we haven't quite finished polying them. <laughs> I don't know what I said. We haven't finished polling them because we had a bit of an issue that we're not going to talk about. Anyway, they should be done later today. The and issue then... has a little something to do with the back side of these. It ended up really splotchy because I think we didn't quite let the stain dry or maybe we put too much stain 
and it was we didn't realize it's it's so cold out it takes a lot longer for the stain to dry even in the heated garage i don't think we had the heat up enough so the insides look a little more shabby chic than we were hoping for yeah. but the outside we did pretty lovely. good lovely yeah, those turned out great there's a lot of little things i would do differently yeah, like should we most talk things? about this little thing <laughs> notice there's two ugly little wood screws peeking out right there that those were supposed to be hidden <laughs> But we miscalculated. <laughs> we thought this piece was a lot bigger than it was. It was going to cover yeah. the majority of the front. So stay tuned. We'll have to come up with some yet another fun trim idea. Yeah. If we had known this, we wouldn't even put the screws in. We just thought they'd be covered. Add it to the list. <laughs> Still better than it was though. Dang it. Why, hello there. Are you guys tired yet of seeing this giant gaping hole in the bathroom? We sure as heck are. Oh, is that my cue? Yeah. But we have a solution. We have a so solution. It's a door. Yeah. And it conveniently covers up annoying husbands. <laughs> so this was the idea. We basically recreated that other door and put a big mirror in here. So you can use this as your mirror when you're in the bathroom. I finally have a mirror. I don't have to sit on the floor and try to use a five inch mirror to do my makeup or yeah. hair. However, we do have a plan to Get it? Put a bigger mirror on this side of the door. So when you open it up, you'll have a giant full length mirror. Ta da! If you so desire. I'm wondering why we're just holding <laughs> this in place. It's because I forgot to grab screws for the hinges and the door handle. Yeah. The main thing is, the door is freaking done, you guys. Yeah! Oh, hey. How's it going? So check this out, y'all. We finally, this is the most awkward way to do this. <laughs> this is a horrible idea. It's enjoyable to watch them, Oh, yeah? You having a blast? Oh my god, it's freezing out here, you guys. This is the coldest day of the year so far. I'm laying on a pile of ice. I, oh yeah, I am on a pile of ice. <laughs> I also realized I just said the coldest day of the year, but we're only like seven days into the year, so. But it is. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm trying to say is we finally installed these tank level sensors. These things are friggin' awesome. You just put this strip on here, and then it has all these different zones here that relay the level of the tank via these little wires up to the display that's mounted on the inside. Once I sort this all out and verify that it's all working properly and test it a little bit, then we're gonna spray a rubberizer over this that'll protect it from all the elements. Oh God. You what? There's an icicle? Yeah. So that line feeds directly to the sea level unit right here. And then you can just click gray and it says 0% it's empty and we also have one of those senders attached to the freshwater tank that's just underneath the couch here and that relays right up here that's also empty <laughs> since it's freezing outside and i also managed to clean up that wiring from earlier so now everything is in this nice tight little wire harness and it looks so much better another fun upgrade we made is installing our official curtain rods these beautiful lovely sunburst curtain rods just came in from target and we officially have them up the curtains <laughs> that i got months and months ago i'm realizing now are a little short yeah. we have a potential workaround but might just change these out altogether. Yeah, well, we'll see we'll live with them for a little while and see how we feel yeah but at least we have something that is real and isn't just gonna go flying off when we're driving around oh we got our other chair installed i don't know if we ever said that <laughs> but look how nice it is in here now it really brings this front cab area together I love them so much. Yeah, and you can see our cheeky little logo in the headrest right there. It's so nice. Oh, luxury. Now we just got to tackle this at some point. Yeah, there's still a lot to do up here, but <laughs> you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. It has felt so good to get so many of these little projects done. We had quite the list of just little things that we'd been putting off because they're not fun. They take so much time, but they don't really add anything aesthetically. But it was all things that are necessary to hit the road because that's what we're doing. In a few days, we are hitting the road indefinitely, y'all. Yeah, it's happening. Are. I know we've taken a few small trips around here, but it was always just little tester trips to just try out everything, see how we liked it, see if anything needed to be tweaked before we hit the road. But I think we've kind of worked out most of the kinks. There'll still be a lot of stuff for us to do on the road, but we have officially, I think, moved out of the garage. We don't really need it. Everything can kind of be, be done in the RV from here on out. Yeah. Oh so my we're gosh. doing some projects on the road, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Really right. need to get our art game in gear. We did so much woodworking, but we forgot to get like nice, pretty things for the RV. I guess that's it. Eric's got to go edit this vo vi vi shoot fire. I almost got it. So close. He's got to go edit this video and post it for y'all. And then the next video will be on the road. We ah! will. And it'll be Allison's birthday. Uh, it's my coming up. Birthday's coming up. I'm getting older. No. Yay. All right. Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.